Ukrainian Bradleys beat Russians very hard. U.S. should hand over more. Forbes. According to the general staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, Russia has already lost more than 15,000 armored vehicles of various types, including infantry fighting vehicles. As a result, the aggressor is forced to use equipment on the front line that is increasingly less suitable for combat, which the Ukrainian Armed Forces destroy even faster, writes Forbes. It is noted that the Ukrainian army loses several times less equipment than the Russian one. In addition, the Ukrainian Armed Forces constantly receive new equipment from Western partners. This leads to a logical result. Ukrainians have the best equipment on the battlefield and the Russians have the worst. When Ukrainian and Russian technology meet, the Russians get hit very hard, Forbes writes. The publication refers to videos published online that clearly illustrate the imbalance in the armored vehicles of the two armies. They clearly show how American-made Ukrainian M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles easily destroy enemy MT-LBs, lightly armored tractors that the Russians use in the role of armored personnel carriers, which is unusual for them. This is not a fair competition. The 13-ton MTLB was designed as a support vehicle. It was never intended to carry troops directly into battle. But after losing thousands of heavier infantry fighting vehicles, the Russians had no choice but to send tracked tractors to frontline service in an armored personnel carrier, the publication notes. In contrast, the 34-ton M2 Bradley was designed specifically for direct combat. It has an accurate and fast-firing 25mm automatic cannon and effective armor that protects the crew and troops. Forbes analyzes several more similar videos where Ukrainian Bradleys destroy enemy MTLBs and BTR-82 wheeled armored personnel carriers. The publication comes to the conclusion that in the conditions of the Russian-Ukrainian war, even quite old versions of Bradley give the Ukrainian armed forces a tangible advantage in certain sectors of the front. There is no reason why the Americans cannot send many more M2s. The US Army no longer uses the Bradley model that Ukraine uses and there should be about a thousand of them in the Army's extensive depots, including one in California that now contains about 500 vehicles. Forbes summarizes. Cool, so true, cool, so true.